and a half. It was either going to be Kostoev of Russia or Naidan Tushinbayo in the final. That's what we looked at. And the two of them were in the first match. And since then, Kostoev has looked every bit the finalist. And here he is now in the final against Yahen Biadulin of Belarus. It's Kostoev in white and Biadulin in the blue judoki. Final of the men's under 100 kilos. It was a nice throw. Yeah, I think that it, it should be awarded. Some of the um, Belarusians calling out for Wazari. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much, but yeah. it should be Uko. But Well, in the end, there wasn't a great deal of control. There was no part of um, Kostoyev's back that was on the, on the mat. It was just the shoulders that went there and there was no real speed either so the, the major elements of a of a score were missing not there though not there Biadulin managing to counter Kostoyev, Kostoyev's attack score Kostoyev has a risky um, method of operating. He likes to get in close. And there are many times when it's just as uh, useful to his opponent as it is to him, as it is here. This time, Biadulin just hooked in and he was... Um, he really wasn't looking to throw Kostoyev there. But he definitely didn't want to be thrown himself, so... There's an element of using that leg just to, to block any further action. Kostoyev picks up a penalty, so Biadulin goes further ahead now and leads by Wazari and Ayuko. And they give an ip on because it did start in. And um, Kostoyev won't be that happy. He lands right in front of Ezio Gamba, the Russian coach. We're going to get another look at it here. But everything started inside the uh, contest area. And um, it didn't matter that they finished out. There it, it's all beginning. So everything that happens here now is part of it and he finishes it on his back yep it's clear <laughs> nothing wrong with that that's the beginning of it and everything that happens here is okay Kostoyev gets his hand down but he goes onto his back and um, Biadulin still has control when they go down so the referee signals Ipon. And even if he didn't give Ipon, it would have been 